Nice to be back. It's been three years, but I decided to get back into the game and make a new video. Ovelti inspired me. Just to give you a little history why I'm talking about this drug, which is a combination drug of dextromethorphan and bupropion is it affects glutamate. Other drugs that affect glutamate that have been introduced in psychiatry have been ketamine and esketamine. The ketamine was an IV infusion drug that worked rapidly in the treatment of depression. And the esketamine, which was a, a nasal inhaler, I used that in my office for years. It's probably the most effective antidepressant I've seen. There's plenty of videos on that. So if you're interested in that, you can go to my video on ketamine and esketamine. What's interesting about this drug, which is a combination drug of dextromethorphan and bupropion. So in essence, I'm gonna talk about how the combination works and I'm going to talk about each drug individually. The first drug in this combination is dextromethorphan. It's in the pill. The pill is 45 milligrams of dextromethorphan and 105 milligrams of bupropion. Let's talk about dextromethorphan. Why would you use this drug? It's an old drug. It came out in 1954. It was a cough medicine. I have a lot of history with this drug. I've been doing this 42 years, but this drug in particular, dextromethorphan was initially a cough medicine because it has anti-tussive, anti-cough effects, but it was also abused. I treated a lot of young people and they would take it, they called it robo-tripping -trip or Skittles because Robitussin made pills that were all different colors and they would take a bunch of it so this is the history lesson and they would get respiratory depression, increased heart rate, elevation, body temperature, sweating, delirium, hallucinations, psychosis, paranoid delusions. I put a few of them in the ICU. I've had a bunch on acute psychiatric wards treated for psychosis, delirium ag and agitation. That's just a little history on dextromethorphan. Am I trying to scare you away? No. Is this drug safe at 45 milligrams? Absolutely. It's been used over the counter since 1954, I would say extremely safely. Major side effects could be nausea, vomiting, sedation, slow mental, uh, slow mentition, uh, dizziness, maybe a little restlessness, feelings of not being real, but the side effect profile in this combination drug at 45 milligrams of dextromethorphan are minimal. Why is this drug so interesting? A little receptor stuff. It blocks the N-methyl-D aspartate receptor, which is NMDA receptor. And that receptor blocks glutamate. This blocks the blocker. So the neurotransmitter, that uh, receptor that blocks glutamate pr production is blocked, increasing glutamate. It also has sigma-1 activation, which also helps in the treatment of depression but it's this glutamate thing. A little history on glutamate. Glutamate is probably the most abundant neurotransmitter in the human body. Glutamate along with GABA are the two major neurotransmitters in the human body. They work as the yin and the yang in the human nervous system. Glutamate being the activating neurotransmitter, GABA being this calming, sedating neurotransmitter. And the balance between the two of them is what's critical. Critical. It's the Goldilocks zone. You need to have the right amount of GABA and the right amount of glutamate to make it work. In this particular case, we are using glutamate to help in the treatment of depression. And that's what dextromorphin is doing. It's mixed with bupropion, which is an antidepressant that goes back to 1985. It initially was put on the market for depression. There were problems in, with seizures in the immediate release form and problems in people with bulimia and anorexia because they experienced seizures. So later on, 1992, they developed an extended release version of this bupropion. And when you extend the release and slowly let it get absorbed into the system, the risk of seizure went down and it appeared pretty safe. So in essence, this dextromethorphan and bupropion extended release is the combination. And the bupropion is 105 milligrams. Bupropion 
works in terms of depression by increasing the reuptake uh, or in decreasing the reuptake of, of norepinephrine and dopamine. That's not the sole reason it's used here. It's also being used because it blocks the metabolism in the liver of dextromethorphan, increasing the levels of dextromethorphine and the amount of time dextromethorphine stays in the system by blocking its metabolism through this enzyme system called 2D6 in the liver. So we have the combination here, this combination in the studies and what I see in patients, it works quickly and treats depression effectively. I think the active ingredient here is the glutamate pathway involved with dextromethorphan with some ancillary help from the bupropion and its antidepressant qualities, but also the effect of bupropion increasing levels of dextromethorphan. Here's a pearl. This medicine is taken orally, one tablet in the morning for three days, then one tablet twice a day thereafter. It works in the first week, week and a half. Great. $1,200 a month. Or Velti is probably something I wouldn't buy. I would buy the generic version. You can get the generic version of these for probably $20, $40. So just buy it generic. Make up either liquid uh, or whatever, whatever way you want to administer it to your, your body um, from the pharmacy at, at probably dramatically cheaper rates. Side effects of the bupropion in combination with the dextromethorphan may be headache, weight loss, trouble sleeping, restlessness, dry mouth, uh, vivid dreams. It has that risk of lowering the seizure threshold. It also has the risk in people with anorexia and bulimia as a black box warning. If you use extended release, you pretty much minimize these risks. It's pretty well tolerated. It doesn't affect sexual drive like the other antidepressants. So I think this is a good combination. I'm really pro of Velti at this point, or pro the combination of dextromethorphine and bupropion. I think it's worth giving a try. Thank you. Bye.